in and one is a Fine Gael. And isn't it amazing? The very facts that Sarah brought up in our interview were brought up last night. 25% of houses boarded up. And all it takes is somebody with a little bit of gumption in the council, wherever they are, across the country. And, you know, they were even costing. And what cost quarter to fix these houses up? I, 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 I don't know. I, the, the average price of a house in Dublin at the moment, with the new ideas yes. from the government, Correct. The new proposal, £450,000. Euros. Yeah. God help us. The, the Sinn Féin one was 2500 of uh, 122,000. Yes, yes, yes. So it was half the fraction of the cost of the Fianna Gael. But you see, that, but that, that and is the problem. And they're going to have a deal on that, the And we're paying 1.5% higher interest rates in mortgages than our um, counterparts in Europe. And the average cost now of renting a one or two bedroom apartment anywhere is over 2,000 euro a month. So that's your salary gone. What in the name of God is being done here? They're actually creating homelessness here. But they are. I mean, we need ministers. We need the Taoiseach and the Tarnishta and other political leaders to come together, just as Dean said there, come together on an all-Ireland council and clarify this problem and just sort it once and for all. And it can be done. Of course it can be done, John. It's, it's simple. If they got down to the way we're thinking, the average person, yes. maybe then they might have to get it right. Well, I you just know, they're hope... They're not talking to the average people. Not at all. They're talking to other ministers, they're talking to other affluent people who can afford these prices. We can't. No, no. You know, it's we can't afford a box to actually walk out of to help our city. Yes. Yeah. We're doing this to help the city. Yes. And the, the fact that we're still here four years later, Sarah, sorry now for cutting it, yeah. is the fact that, that we're here four years later is that the people want us here. If yeah. they didn't, they yeah. wouldn't support us, John. No. And we wouldn't be here four years later. Well, I'm anxious for you to get out of this freezing, biting cold. I'm with Josephine and Sarah now. Uh, Sarah, this is a disgraceful situation. I don't know how many times we're going to have to do videos, um, but Josephine and I were talking now. There is, there's three or four, isn't there, um, on, online uh, petitions, and there's over 3,000 people sign them, and that's only people that are on social media. So, you know, can you imagine if, you know, people out there realise that these people that are saving lives in yes. this city are homeless. Homeless. Yes. I mean, you couldn't make it up, could you? No, do? no, you could not. Uh, no. You know, a suicide prevention team is homeless, and there's no politics in this. We keep on saying it. Yes. The need a base, end of, and people need to get very, very angry, very angry, because. Well, um, maybe a public protest on a Saturday afternoon. That's, that's out as a bit because that's the next somebody, we hope yeah, to, you yeah. know, because thousands of the great city and county people would be out there to support yeah. you, yeah, we definitely. Need, we need to do something. We really yes. need it because there's nobody actually listening to us. Josephine, well. you're very welcome. It's great to see you there. Oh, hi. Um, just saying that we do really need it. There is nobody actually listening to us. Yes. We're banging all sources, all TDs, council. Where's the support, lads? Mm. Somebody has to give it to us. Yes. I mean, we're very important in this city. We're helping the city. They should support us. I, I don't know, Josephine. You have a hard job, though, with regard to fundraising, and you, you're the financial guru, as they yeah, say, and trying to keep things well, together. I actually, I love my fundraising job. Very good. I'm kind of doing okay with it, but at the moment, it's not all about the fundraising. All we want is a base, lads. Yes. Look, even if it's just a container, a piece of ground. Yes. We will post. We will source the funding then to try and fit it out for ourselves. All we want is a little bit of help, of and course. I'm asking you, please help us. I think the people will be putting pressure now on the council. We'll go around to the side of the van here, and we'll just take a quick look at the the the, the marvelous gear that you have that you use as well. This is our gear. So that's the gear now that should be inside in the base. That's a fraction of it, John. A fraction of it. The rest of the gear is stored between all the members' houses and everyone else. We need a place to actually charge up our radios, you know, and anything that we need, electric with lamps and stuff. We can all have the doors. But this is the way we're driving around. This is what we can access and what we need to use every night. But that's ridiculous. So it's been you saying they're getting ready in here. We're trying to change in the yeah. Japan. Yes. 
clear up the side here from the back of the van and just go straight out onto the river. Do you know, it just reminds me there of something with the GA uh, clubs around the country. The, the young players, men or young men and women, were actually changing in freezing circumstances yeah, and all. And the GA moved on it very quickly. So maybe the, we could ask the GA to move on this because the government are obviously not. But look, 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 the government are completely devoid of what's happening on the ground level, John. Not sure we know that. I mean, if the government knew what was happening, well, look, maybe they do. It's easy, look, they can say this, John. Yes. If you don't know about something, you have to worry about it. Right, well, no. I know, but... <laughs> so, but they do know, and they're not worried about it. They're not worried about it, no. no. The government, they don't care about us. They don't care. They don't no. care about I'd anybody. Often, I've often wondered, John, if... if Volunteer oil and volunteerism and oil stops. Uh, the country is gone. You know, all we have at the moment, John, is a small stick and plaster on a big cable moving into hell. Yes. And people have to recognize that mental health is the country. Now it is. No. Now it really is coming to the fore. Exactly. And the line's supposed to try to keep that plaster on as much as we can. Yes. But we need help. We yes. need our city fathers, our leaders. These are the people we elect, John. Yes, I know. If they, if, if and they are them, paid a salary. Well They're paid a salary. You know? Yeah. You know? Well, Sarah's not an elected person. No, but look at the work she's doing. Every time I look around, she's out front of me. She, that, that's right, well, she's out there trying to help people. She's a marvellous one. Yeah, of course. Well, look, the best two days in the town are helping us. Look, fine. But we need them here, John. But I can see them. Yes. And I need them to be very visual. But they need to come out and get the phone. That's all right. I'm not here, John. That's no use. I'm not here to be in the cold. Yes. It's absolutely Baltic here today. You're here. I am. Help us. I am. In the Baltic cold. And I'm delighted Which to be we're here. We're very, very grateful and thanks a million for it. Sarah's freezing here. Yes. King Quinn's freezing. Where's our representative? Where's our mayor? You know, what's he doing today? I know. He never even contacted us. Jesus. No. God forgive me for swearing. But he's the mayor of Limerick. Yes. We're pleading to help us help people in Limerick. I and know. This guy's not talking to anybody. No. But you he, see, this is the problem. You see, the problem with politics in Ireland is this. They're removed from the people, removed from the issues, and they're stuck inside desks yes. and their Wi-Fi yes. and their pound Louis with a piece of pop hair. And, central heat and, and that's all they want. And they're paid to do that. Yeah. And, you know, once they climb the top of the ladder. But they need to be careful, John. Yes, yes, they do. Because you'll meet the very same people at the end of that ladder coming back down. Oh, well, I'll tell you something, man. And when it comes to voting this year, We'll be talking There'll be a lot of we'll people there people that will be, yes, I agree, yes. Well, let's get that message you know, out there. And I, I, I couldn't be more annoyed that of course you are. that we're doing this again this week, yeah. we've done it again last week, we're doing it for four years. Come on, lads. Yes. There's a building down in Arthur's Key. Put us in as a caretaker. Yeah. Wouldn't mind it. Wouldn't it be great I'd, to be occupied? Well, look, I've been, I've been, I've been a caretaker in House of Blanket Council myself. Yes. And they left me into caretakers. Why can't we caretake that building? Well, maybe the penny will drop now. You know, maybe the penny will drop. The councillors will have to get together and do this. They can use that process when it suits them. Yeah. Well, no one them to use it when it suits us. Well, help us. it has to help people. I mean, do they want to be called out here some night when their brother, sister, father, mother inside there taken out? John, it's, it's a nightmare. I wonder. It's a nightmare. I mean, I'll give you an instance, and I don't really talk about it. No, no. We found a young person there last week, unconscious, in a park. Yes. <coughs> so if we had to be now, who'd have found out? Left there to you die. Know, if people are coming down here and they're telling you they want to die, what are you? Where yes. are going to take them, John? Well, it's only increasing countrywide, everywhere, north and south. It it's is, increasing. Yeah, but, but you'll find as well, John, what, what, what really is increasing is groups like us yes. are popping up all over the country now. Yes. And what's going to happen, John, is simple. The groups like us are going to form and amalgamate one group to represent us government voice. Yes. And then they'll have to answer us. But that's a pity. It's all hard work and stress. It can't be yeah. solved. But, but with a stroke of a pen. Yeah, it's a fine That's minute conversation, John. Five minutes. Five. 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 Okay, of course. we'll give you this. Look after it. If they come down the line saying they think we are not in it, we have to go beyond. Put us in somewhere else. Yeah. But there's loads of places around. Yeah, there's loads. Loads. We can, we can get loads. In the we can get an end of life with that container. We were off of it. But we need a place to, to put it. Yes. There's a yes. 50 foot container over that yard over here, yeah. that's at Mikan's, that has been used and left there for the last five years. Let us use it. Yes. It's already in You're not looking for, not uh, you're not looking for grade no. one accommodation. For no, God's sake. But what they seem interested in is cycle lanes and digging up the common streets and the funding. It's something that's life saving. Of course, Sarah, yeah, but I mean, a cycle lane is fine. You will like to cycle and you may your back and help if you want to. Yeah. But we're dealing with people here who are mentally not healthy. Yeah. 
fundamentally in need of somebody to help them. God, yes. You know, if we were on dear child, it would be a worse scenario. It would be very worse, you know? yes. And they need yes. to talk to all the people who are buying into this river about the job we do. I'm not looking for a pat in the back. I love what I do. And yes. I do it because I want to do it. Mm -hmm. But I need to give the people I work with and for back their dignity, John, at the side of that river. Damn right. They Good don't man. have any bloody dignity left by no. the time we meet them. My they God don't no. even know where they are. Yeah, God love them. And yes. we have to talk to them and call the guard for them. Isn't that worse? Did that make things worse? Yes. Jesus, I agree. Give us a room and give them a cup of tea. I'll call their mum and dad. Yeah. Or the God love them, their sisters and brothers. It's a better option, John. It is, yeah. I and agree. The guards are up their eyes in it. They are. They have enough to do. We're they're right up, but we're yeah. right at a point, John. We don't want to call the guards because we don't want to be already out to their work. Yeah, I know. Yes. And yeah. in service, we found them the other night, all in 40 minutes, yeah. they took to get to us. Yes. Because there was snowed under. That's not their fault. No, not at all. You no, know, but no. They, they come along and God love them, they're apologising to us yeah. for trying to get their job done. We're very grateful to all the ambulance drivers, totally. to the guardian that we have. We have. We Absolutely. No, I agree. You know, so it's, it's our local politicians, it's our TDs and yes. government people that can represent us. Yes, stop okay. Stop talking about the price of a pint. Stop ah, talking stop. about longer hours. They're only trying to divert, that's yeah, all. They, these are things they can sort out. They can sort out themselves. Mental this is, where we're at this is an issue on the ground major, here, major. a major issue. Matt, thank you so much Thanks indeed. You're great, and I wish you the best of luck. And we're going Thanks, to keep Sarah. on this story. Sarah, keep up the great work. Community activist, I think, with a halo over your head. And well done. And Josephine, we'll talk again in a few weeks, because I want to keep on to this issue. Oh, and that's yes. not only a Limerick City County story, it's a national story as well. So let's keep on to it. Thanks a million. Okay, Thanks from all of us here, Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Thank you. Thank you.